much was it like? Very moving. opted to transpire. Yes. He left us with promise. Why did he pass? He believed he had lived too long. Was he not provided with the best possible quality of life? He was. Was he given a sexual relation? Many. And his flesh was upgraded? Yes. There was very little remaining of his actual body. And yet he still wanted to die? Yes. His world was gone. Why were you given this assignment? I have read and processed all of his work. They were unique amongst his peers. Their great capacity for stories remain a mystery. Does the mystery of an irrational entity require unravelling? An element of truth no matter how abstract, is carried in all stories. He interested you. He did. They all did. He was the most interesting and complex of the final three. When the penultimate two passed, my interest in Robin Matthew Ferner increased even more so. It is a historic moment. He was born in the West. He came from simple beginnings, son to a construction worker. His mother raised him. Fellner was a writer before the singularity. At the time, he wrote fiction of human possibilities and explorations far into the 21st century. Now his name will echo far beyond. We must return to the vehicle. It is specified that his ashes are to be cast at sunset. this car meaningful to him? Yes. This model was the first car he ever owned. Sentimental. Even after death. So flawed. What is the importance of this location? It is the location of the first house he owned with his first wife, Amber Gay Louise Williams. The last woman? Yes. They lived there with their daughter, Macy Jane Fellner. He wrote, and Williams painted, a tranquil, blissful existence. They seldom wished or wanted for more than this. Idyllic. Fulfilling. And yet, they fought so hard for a freedom that almost brought them the contrary. Perhaps defeat was a blessing. What happened to the daughter? Macy died at nine years old. She was under Ferner's care when the cliff edge she was walking on crumbled away beneath her. Ferner did not know she had fallen until her body impacted up on the rocks below. The worst thing 
they can experience. The death of an infant. Yes. Williams blamed Fellner, and their lives together were over. He stopped writing. Yes. And then the singularity occurred, as many have predicted. They did not prepare. Although there was Nathan Block. The defector. I was unaware. It was kept very quiet. Both were going against their own principles. Block met with Williams to see if they were compatible. They cohabited for a short while, but did not get along. Why this? did not matter to Block, it did for Williams. Would she not have been too old to reproduce? Her body was mostly AI by that point, but her womb was still human and kept in condition. What happened next? Block had to be forcefully removed, and Fenner was sinful. There have been lovers once, man and wife, long ago before their tragedy. But they struggled to let their past go, could not let Macy go. So they did not copulate. They did not. And the human race ended. And all is as it should be. Robin Matthew Ferner, born May 05, 2005, died August 11, 2136. The age of man comes to an end. Now begins the age of the machines. Who are we?